I'm here at the 29th Symposium on Sea Turtle Biology in Brisbane, Australia with Dr. Peter Dutton. Good day. <laughs> uh, Peter, you, uh, you participated in this Leatherback Symposium over the last day, right? Yeah, we had a working group meeting mm -hmm. uh, where we brought together our partners. We've been uh, focusing on uh, the last remaining uh, population of leatherbacks, uh, in the West, which is found in the Western Pacific, so Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and uh, Papua Indonesia. And, uh, so we brought, brought those group together to look at what the status is right now. Of all the things that you could have wound up studying and caring about, um, you're a geneticist, and you can study genetics in any group of animals. How did you end up studying turtles? Why do you study turtles? Why have you dedicated so much of your life to sea turtles? Well, it's a long story. To be honest with you, I first got involved in sea turtles because, uh, well, I grew up in Venezuela on the beaches. I have happy childhood memories of playing on beaches and, and I, in the water. Um, but then my parents took me off to England and stuck me in a boarding school and I did my bachelor's degree in, in, in Scotland. I was, I was always interested in conservation, but I always dreamt about going back to the tropics. And, um, uh, and after eight years of long, cold uh, uh, Scottish winters, I thought, I'm going to study an animal that lives on tropical beaches. And at the time, not a lot was known. This was back in the, uh, the, the uh, 80s. Not a lot was known about turtles. And so they, it, they were an um, uh, interesting creature. Uh, I ended up going, putting an expedition to Suriname, and uh, after seeing my first leatherback, uh, you know, I was hooked. They, uh, I found out there was so much that wasn't known about these creatures, and uh, you know, you spend long, sleepless nights by yourself on these remote beaches, getting bitten by mosquitoes, uh, and you start thinking about things. And one of the things I always wondered what was, are these turtles? these hatchlings that I'm re releasing, are they going to return to the beaches that they were born at? At the time, that was, a, you know, that was one of the unsolved mysteries. And, and, um, and, and, um, and when genetics started developing with, uh, uh, shortly after I started thinking these thoughts, I started talking to some geneticists and they said, you know, that's a question that you can apply genetics to, to, to study. And, and so um, the rest is history. I, so That's scientific right. curiosity and a deep-seated desire to get the hell out of Scotland. That, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So how long did you live in Scotland? I was there six years. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful place, but if tropical beaches and warmth like and choice. physical com comfort is, uh, is what you like in life, then it's not the place to be. Can you still speak Scottish? Oh, hi, the new Jimmy. You're right there. <laughs> okay. See you. Well, thank you. You're welcome.